This is January 2011, question five. Okay, sketch the curve y equals minus x cubed. Um, you're probably going to get axes drawn for you, but you're going to make sure if they don't have them labelled, you can label them with x and y. What does, what does minus x cubed look like? Yes, everybody's sketching it about the right thing. It's going to start over here, isn't it? Yeah. And we're going to have a graph that does something like that, preferably getting just about instantaneously horizontal as we pass through the origin, only crossing the axes at that one point, and making sure that you don't have any of the graph in either of those two quadrants. And that's what they're looking for in the exam. The marks here are going to be for a graph that's only in those two quadrants. Okay. The curve is translated by three units in the positive x direction. Find the equation of the curve after it's been translated. Right. This is that thing. If it's, if it's translated in the y direction, then you have the minus x cubed bit. And then if you add a number, it goes up. And if you subtract a number, it goes down. In the x direction, the translation thing has to happen before anything else. So as soon as we read the x direction in there, we know that the graph is going to go from being minus x cubed to something with a bracket in it. And so the number, which is going to have to be 3, is going to be in there. The only question we now need to ask, is that going to be a plus or a minus 3? And remember, if it's inside the brackets, if it's happening in the x direction, it does the reverse thing. So that's going to be a minus 3. There we go. That was two marks for that, I think. And then we're on to part 3. Describe a transformation that takes the curve y to minus x cubed to be minus 5x cubed. Right. This is happening. Is this happening? Before it's being cubed or after it's being cubed? After. After. So this is a, this is a y direction thing, isn't it? So if we're thinking about it as being that going to y equals minus 5x cubed, it's a y direction activity. Is it a plus or a minus that's having that's happening to minus x cubed? Plus. Is it is it having something added to it or something taken away from it? It's not, is it? It's, a, it's being multiplied by 5, by plus 5. So it's not a translation. It must be a stretch. We've already established it's in the y direction. So parallel to the y axis, we could say. And the only other thing we need to write is what the scale factor is. And it's a plus 5 that it's been times by. So the scale factor is 5. Remember, if it's in the y direction, it's the kind of logical thing. If it had been in the x direction, it would have been the, the 1 over as the scale factor. <coughs> Final thing that's important, we have to use the right words here. So if we're talking about a, a movement or a shift in the graph, we have to use the word translation. If we're talking about the graph, kind of expanding, being multiplied by number, we have to talk about stretch. And we have to get make sure we've got one of those two words in.